Hey guys, Zach Mueller here and welcome back to another video and today we're doing what is gore grind. Here I've got my notes as always and we're going to be talking about it. Um, about the whole like thing without videos for a while. Uh, that was due to school. I was needing to get caught up on things and um, my, um, not passion to do these videos, I'll always have a passion to, but it was more of like my... Uh, energy to do these videos was wearing low and I don't want to wear myself out past that because I can see when my energy is getting low right now I've got high energy I've, I'm loving doing this right now I'm loving being able to have that relaxation break and be able to come back stronger than ever all right let's do this gore grind fuses grind core and death metal obviously uh, death grind also does the same thing but gore grind has a few differences. I will point those out later if I ever do a video on like death grind, which I might, or I might point them out here occasionally. Gore grind has heavily edited, pitch shifted, watery sounding vocals. Basically meaning that what I would say without pitch shifting your own voice is like stick your head into water and just do a <clears throat> into them and you'll get that kind of sound if done correctly uh sometimes you choke on water i know i have <laughs> um it has the abrasive musicianship that's rooted in grindcore so you know the guitar the bass the drums about the only thing that's different there is the vocals and the lyrical theme but we're not getting into that yet lyrical themes are for later carcass is commonly seen as the reason this genre got big. Uh, early bands that helped were Repulsion with their release Horrified and in Pedagos Ultimo Mondo Cannibal. So those two albums and those two bands really helped out to start this scene. How much did they help out? Well, quite a bit, actually. They're both great bands, too. This genre focuses less on politics, the, less on the politics, the left-wing uh, politics that Grindcore has, and focuses on medical imagery and visceral imagery as well. Uh, oh, wait. I put as well, but there's no reason to put as well. The as well is there is an error. Uh... Lyrics tend to deal with blood and gore as well as accidents with fatal results and also stuff that has to do with the mind. So, very intriguing stuff. Um, some notable bands include Hemorrhage. Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty awesome. You know, if you like gore grind, you'll like them. That's kind of what I have to say about all these bands in a way. Uh, the County Medical Examiners, which I do actually have a fact about. All the guys there are like 60, you know, 50, 40, 50, 60. They're older guys. And they made this as a side project to kind of just make something. And it was just, they, they all have like PhDs in medical stuff, which is amazing when you think about it. So if anybody ever tells you that nobody in metal got a PhD or has an education, the county medical examiners exist. <laughs> um, Pathologist, which is from the Czech Republic, a uh, very, very nice band, um, though bands that come out of the Czech Republic and that whole area are pretty nice, you know, uh, there's bands that come from Georgia that are pretty good, and no, not the state, the country. And Regurgitate, I want to say they were from Sweden, but I could be wrong, pretty good once again. These all, you kind of have to get used to that, like, watery sounding, you know, that. Uh, but, I mean, if you like death metal and you like slam and all that shit, you will most likely like gore grind. Uh, you also would want to look into grindcore first. There are bands I'd recommend from that for that, but I would go over that later when I talk about grindcore. Uh, I plan to talk about grindcore more. I plan to talk about more about, you know, these genres. Um... Right now, I'm trying to focus on smaller, lesser-known ones. One, because the script, I guarantee you, for, like, other ones, is going to take up a whole page. While this one, you can see, only takes up about half. 
Um, and I don't throw these away in the trash. I keep them. Uh, and depending on what happens, I may eventually send them out as like a, might put together a script book from a couple years, but I would need a couple hundred pages, a couple hundred, you know, scripts I've done just so I could send it out to you guys um, and actually feel comfortable with doing it. I wouldn't, and, I, and of course it wouldn't be these printed on the page. I might include pictures of these, but I highly doubt it. Mine would be a... I go through, retype everything, and then print it up. But I'm not planning to do that yet. I'm keeping these all. I have scripts back from my uh, How to Look era. And that's just as a reminder. Because those were what kind of got me started. I want to keep what got me started, but I never want to go back to doing that. I'm happy with my What Is series about the label. Uh, I'm happy with talking about my favorite bands in certain genres which our next one hopefully will be death metal because I've got a list of like 20 bands long, but that will be split into two parts. Just like if I do another black metal video, it's going to be split into two parts. I like doing 10 each video. 10 is a pretty good number, and it gives me optimal time to talk about each band. Now, my opinion on Gorgrind. Let's do this. Uh, completely unscripted, just off the top of my head. I personally like Gorgrind. I have actually seen a Gorgrind band, though they lean more toward death metal now, I've seen a Gorgrind grind band live, and that would be Exhumed. Uh, I, I saw Exhumed live last year, and they were pretty damn good, honestly. Uh, they are really awesome on stage, and they do deserve a lot of praise for what they do. Um, their, their singer is an amazing guy. It was funny because when he was there, um, he said to the audience something like, I bet you I can drink this whole beer. He picked up the beer he had and chugged it. One of the other guys walked over and he was like, that was half, that doesn't count. So the singer uh, goes, all right, fine, I'll do another. They bring him out a fresh one, he pops it open, he sticks it in his mouth, and he chugs the whole damn thing. Awesome. Um, it was it was really cool to see, and I definitely enjoy that show. Uh, I remember Dr. Filthy being um, crowd surfing. I remember getting blood sprayed into the audience. I didn't get any sprayed on me, uh, mainly because my ex wanted to go to the corner area, and she left early. She she let, made me leave early with her. I mean, of course, it was after the set of Exhumed, but she made me leave early because her feet hurt. And as I was walking out, I saw the drummer tossing out his fucking drumsticks. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into that more. That pisses me off. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please turn the gray thumb blue with hypothermia. Uh, join the red subscribe button of its life, turning it gray. Ring the death bell. Leave your epitaph in the comments. Uh, music used is in the description below. I try to stick with themes now, but the bands I've only gotten to sign on with me are not sign on, but like be okay with me using their music is one black metal band and two death metal bands. I don't really use the other ones as much because they're kind of, they're gone now and I'm just like, eh, I'm kind of iffy on using them. Uh, they were, they were a very good band though. Um, I'm not mentioning any names right now just because, but there's another project coming out by the guys from it and I'm looking forward to that. Though that one's not going to be death metal. I'm looking forward to see what it is, but you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, music in the description, and, uh, yeah, our recommended album will be, um, <clears throat> Carcasses Reek of Putrefaction, so yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.